What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and a lot of people have asked me how I wired up the Raptor lights on my 2020 TRD Pro. So I thought I'd go ahead and make this short video and show you how I did it. So if you saw my video of the five mods I did to this 4Runner, uh, one of them was to install these amber colored LED Raptor lights they're called into the grill. And this is probably one of the easiest installs you'll ever do and it might only take you maybe 10, 15 minutes to do it. So I'm going to pop the hood and I'm going to show you how I did it. Once you have your hood open, the first thing we need to do is take off this whole front plastic piece. And they're, they're just held in by these little clips here. And how to take them off is if you press this center button here, they kind of pop and then you can kind of wiggle them out. But be very, very careful uh, that you don't lose any of these, okay? Uh, there are uh, five in the center, four on the top, and four on the bottom. And they're all held by uh, this uh, little tiny clip. All right, once you've got all 13 of those little plastic clips removed, we can remove this whole front cover area. If you notice, not every row is the same. So for example, where these two are, you'll notice that there's a groove um, above and below where this marker goes in. Do you see this groove right here? Um, in, the, in the row above that, which is actually the center line of this grill, uh, these are larger openings and they don't have that groove in there and uh, originally I wanted to uh, move these because actually it was the gear bagging guy who commented said that three lights is actually more official than four because of the dot requirements so when I heard that I was gonna move these and actually put put three one in the center and then two on the outside but uh, I found that these won't fit there and the reason why is because if you look at them, um, they have the little thing above and below the marker, which is what's supposed to fit in those little grooves there. And so it just doesn't work. So for now, we're just gonna leave it as four lights across. And uh, you can either pick to go in this row or this row above it. You'll notice uh, this row is closer to the bumper. The one above it is closer to the top. So I went ahead and put it in this row. And all you do is you just feed it feed it through and then you just clip it into place and that's it also you will notice that these are supposed to fit one way so one way is up you'll notice how uh, in this one it's in the groove there on the top and the bottom in this one though it looks like above the groove so all you do is just pull this out and then flip it around 180 degrees. Now, once they're in on the back side, you just take the two connectors and you plug them in together and they only fit one way. I went ahead and cinched up any uh, excess wire here with a zip tie and then ran uh, the rest of the wire along the frame. I ran it underneath here, it's going across here and then on the side of the cab here. Now in previous videos for previous models you'll actually see them wire the cable into the cab and they do so by um, opening up this black plug right there and the wire will go inside there and underneath the driver's seat into the fuse box. There is still a fuse box there but the location is no longer in that fuse box. It's actually right here in this relay and fuse box here, super easy to get to. So what I did was I took that ground wire that came as part of the harness and I just put it here behind this bolt uh, for the negative uh, battery terminal bolt. And so if we open up this fuse box, you'll notice I have this red cable going right into this location. If we look at the back cover onto the legend here, we'll notice that the INJ fuse is relocated to this area and it's two above the 20 amp. So it goes 20, 10, and then 10. And there was a fuse, there was a 10 amp fuse in that location, 20, 10, 10 
but I removed that fuse and there's actually a fuse puller here. You can use that uh, to pull out the fuse. And I put that 10 amp fuse inside of this holder. And then I plugged this whole um, adapter straight into there. And what that does is that'll actually, anytime this is going all the way to the lights in the front. And so anytime the car is on, um, the, it, this will power the lights on too. So if you can see that bullet connector and that positive wire, um, that's kind of hanging out to the side of the box right now. Actually, I don't have um, it on this latch to give it some room. It is still pinching a little bit, but um, I wanted to avoid drilling a hole into the side of this uh, relay and fuse cover. Um, maybe I'll find a better solution and I'll update you with what I do. But that red wire is running all the way uh, to where the Raptor lights are there in the front. And then the, the ground wire is just coming up the side here and going right here behind this bolt. But what that does is when you plug it into that INJ port, it just makes sure that whenever you start up the car, um, the lights turn on. All right, so that's pretty much it. The only thing we have to do now is put our cover back on. We wanna align it with all the holes. Make sure they're aligned. Now the trick with these clips is what you wanna do is you wanna take them and you wanna press just down on them like this. And once you get it, you can separate them. And then you see how this can kind of be compressed a little bit. You want to take that and just put it into the hole and then all you got to do to secure it is once once they're in the hole is just press down gently until it's flush you don't want to press it more because that's how you release it so you don't want to press it so it's like that otherwise you got to take it back out and then do it over all right thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope this helps you with the install of your Raptor lights. I am bummed that I couldn't move these to the very center and have three, but um, I still think the lights look cool, even though they're not official. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions, post them down in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys as always in the next video.